September 11th, uh, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Mike Irwin, uh, we're at Liberty State Park. Uh, talk to me, Mike. What's going through your mind right now? It's just been an unbelievable day. Um, just starting out in the morning when we had the, the, the one minute of silence as everyone was facing Lower Manhattan. Yeah, I posted that video on uh, YouTube. They all saw awesome. that. I did a six minute of it. So awesome. that was. Uh, a great moment, great. great moment. Yeah, you know, that, that was just a powerful moment. And then, you know, just the amount of positive energy out here with people running and carrying the flags. Um, usually in a marathon, you might see two or three people carrying an American flag in a, in a field of 20,000 runners or 15,000 runners. And we have, you know, a couple of hundred runners and uh, 25 American flags, 20 American flags, something somewhere in that yeah. number out there. Um, it's just really inspiring to see people out there. Um, Apart from that, are you, are you hurting? Are you sore? Oh, big time. Uh, so I'm, I'm right now I'm on uh, mile 77. Um, so I've got uh, at least 14 miles to go. My bare minimum goal was 91.1 miles uh, in honor of 9/11. And uh, you know, uh, I maybe try to get 200 miles today. But uh, it's only like you said early afternoon. We have until the sun goes down at 7:14 p.m. So it's um, yeah, but I'm definitely hurt right now. What's, what's, I mean, I know it's the, the whole spirit of 9-11 of is keeping you going, but anything personal, any one particular thing that's keeping you going? Um, you know, I mean, I, I think a lot of it you know, goes to the fact that I was you know, at West Point with the cabin, and uh, as I had just taken a picture, you know, on my arm, I wrote the name of, you know, Quinn, uh, my good friend Joe Quinn, his brother Jimmy Quinn, who was lost uh, in trade centers, and uh, I'll never forget, you know, when that whole... The memorial ceremony took place at West Point, you know, and, and how much, um, just, I mean, I couldn't imagine being Joe at that moment, um, you know, and, um, you know, just thinking of him and, and thinking that, look, there's 2,976 other families out there, yeah. you know, went through similar pain, um, and over there today, as we've been running here and listening to the, the names of the loved ones called, and, um, you know, are seeing their names on that 9 11 memorial, it's just a really, uh, really powerful connection to yeah. Uh, one last thing before we go. Uh, you know, Tess is running, uh, Mandy's running, um, two people you know very well, and all the other people running around the nation and possibly around the world with a team, red, white, and blue shirt on. Anything you want to say to them? Yeah, geez, absolutely. It's just, um, it's an honor, you know, for so many people to be involved from you know, Eric Perkins, and he's a captain out in regional command east in Afghanistan, to all the people doing triathlons and people doing runs. It's just a true honor to see so many people step up and come forward and say, look, uh, I'm going to get involved in that, I'm going to do something life-affirming uh, to remember these other women. So uh, it's just awesome to have an honor team. Great. Mike Irwin, founder of TRWB, thank you. Thanks.